fish. Good fish. Fish on. Oh my Good word. fish are in. Yeah, baby. Morning, guys. Um, as you can see, we're back by the sea. Uh, we're going to chuck some lures. Uh, we're looking for a bass. Now, this is an area I've fished quite a lot. Um, but normally I fish it around low tide, so I'm trying to fish it now um, on the higher tide. I picked a couple of places at low tide last time I was here and I thought I'll give them a try at high tide. So this is definitely um, a suck it and see, or a chuck it and see, whatever you want to call it. So uh, let's get out there and have a look. New rod day, gone for the HTO Nebula again on the 12 to 42. So looking forward to giving this a few chucks now. Um, got it from Ben at the Art of Fishing, no affiliation. Um, excellent service Ben's got. If you're looking for a rod and you don't quite know, sorry, I'll turn it around so you can see me. Um, excellent service Ben's got. If you go to the Art of Fishing and have a look at, he's got like a, a rod selection service, so you can put in the details if you're not sure what exactly what you want. Put in the details of what you're looking for, and he'll give you some options great little service i put all the details in um that i wanted and basically we came up with the rod that i'd just broken so i had the right rod in the first place so but if you're looking for a rod have a little look there so i'm going to start the day off on the v2 uh sand eel. i think that's what it's called little one about 90 mil it's a little bit windier than i thought here um but hey we'll start with it's only 10 grams Right, here we go, new rod, let's have a little wonder in, see what we've got here. Hmm, quite a bit of floating weed close in. Ooh, it's going deep quite quickly. Some rocks and weed out there. I think I might stay here for the first couple of chucks and uh, try and work it out. About an hour and a half before high tide. Let's pull this, see how weedless it is. Let's pull it through the uh, weed there. Let's chuck it and see. Ooh. That is weedy. It's not gone far at all, that. We'll try some straight retrieves. I was ended up bumping it along the bottom instead. Weed on the tip already, don't like that. And loads of weed on the lure. Try and bounce it around a little bit then. Might be a little bit light, I think. Had a good look at this spot, and if I was a bass, I'd be nosing round here. So, where are you? I'm starting to rain now, and he's put my hood up. It's been spotting for the last 10 minutes pretty much since I started, but uh, it's proper rain now. Put my hood up. Don't want to get a wet head in the first hour, do I? Not liking the amount of weed I'm picking up here. I'm really not too keen on that, but. Uh, it is what it is. We've got to deal with it. Bench around the end of the rod. Not great at all, but there we go. Right, I'm going to have three more casts here, and uh, we don't have any drum. I'm going to see if we can find somewhere with a bit less weed. It's not much fun. Weed every cast. Okay, time to move. Found this fender. 
Anybody tell me that what that is that's growing on there? Big chunk of rock there. A few smaller bits. In close looks. Oh, there's a weed bed to the right of it. So it's got to be worth a chuck, hasn't it? While I'm uh, walking up and down. Make sure that hook's nicely buried. Ooh, drop's quite steep here. All right, let's chuck it and see. Let's get a bit closer to the rock. So it's picking up a bit. I don't want it to get any bigger than that. And it'll make it very difficult to fish for me for the type of fishing I want to do today. Weed every cast again. Not massive amounts, but It is what it is, we've got to deal with these things, haven't we? Let's try a slower approach. I think I touched the side of that big boulder then. Looks bassy to me, what do you say guys? Looks bassy to me. Oh, right behind that boulder. That's not ideal. Plunk over the top, John. That's ideal. Just this side of it. <laughs> into the weed bed on the straight retrieve semi high tip Right, nothing there, time to move on. Right, we've got another big piece of structure here with weed around it. Let's try around here. Still on the V2 sand deal. I'm taking it off here. Still on. So, see what we've got here. Hmm, quite a few large lumps of floating weed. Anticipation's quite high. Even though I've no idea how it fishes uh, this state of tide. I feel this fish around, it's only about 15 feet out, but it's still definitely worth having a, a drop in, one in just behind the rock there. And another one. Oh, that's over the top of it, plop, perfect. Right, last cast here, and we'll move on again. And keep moving, and looking for structure, looking for weedy areas. If I can find a sandy weedy area, that'd be nice. I think it's sandy about there, it looks um, a little 
little bit lighter like it probably is the other side of this weed bed so I'm thinking about it at the moment oh. putting the metal on seeing if I can hit that and then getting it right on the surface to cross the the weed but not fancying that at the moment the waves are breaking um, over something I would say so there are plenty of rocks there can't, I'm not going to reach it with the soft plastic even with a heavier one I'll get closer but I'm not going to get there I need a metal to get there Should we do it? Yeah, let's do it. We'll try it. What have we got to lose apart from... Oh yeah, a metal. See what's in this side. Sixteen gram seeker. Go on, we'll risk it for a biscuit. Right, so what I've gone for is a green Savage Gear Seeker, a small one, 16 grams. And we're going to see if we can hit what I suspect is a small-ish sandy area. Um, but it may be wrong, it's only one way to find out. And that is to chuck it and see. already didn't go far enough see if we can keep it near the top quite a fast retrieve a better cast rocks right let's move again I tend to walk a lot of miles when you're bass fishing well I do anyway um, and they're not easy miles are they because your feet are sinking you're walking over rocks but uh, hopefully at some point it's worth it and the more effort you put in sometimes the more rewarding the fish is so we need to get one for it to be rewarding but it'll come it'll come yeah I'm fancying that a little bit there probably won't see but fairly central to where I am where my arm is there just flattened off a little bit and there's some waves coming in a slight direction right to left so there's some form of disturbance there in the water so there's some structure or something there so Let's risk it for a biscuit and see seeker. That, even if I say so myself, was an incredible cast. This rod, 12 to 42, it's only 16 gram, that's gone for absolutely miles. Gotta wipe the camera now in case I catch one. Right, 
right let's move again right i was just looking over that rock that's sticking up there and a bird about 15 20 feet behind that rock and he's having a bit of a dive so uh, he's not diving for nothing is he so i think we'll take a look okie kokey 16 gram seeker let's chuck it and see for a straightish retrieve see what uh, happens and try to go for a high tip on a slow retrieve so to keep it fairly high in the water because there's a lot of bladder i think out in front and that'll give the lure um it'll be like it's looking up and it'll be flashing a lot at this angle favourite way to fish it, that's a load of weed, but I'm restricted by what's in front of me as to how I can fish a metal. Over here there's the main piece of structure here and there seems to be another one to the left so I'm going to try pulling between them. Try and search out all the area. Oh, oh, had a hit right on the top, right on the top, just in front of me. Missed it, right. Back out, just not very far. Same again, come on. Come on, Mr. Bass. I hope that's come on the film. Rarely do. Your eyes are so much better than the camera. Well. Interesting. Now, where did I cast? I think it was between the two rocks. Oh, adrenaline's going now. Come on. Come on, Mr. Bass. Drop that just this side of the other, what I suspect is another big rock under the water there oh come on mr bass come back i was hoping it might be the one like the one i had the other day down in pembrokeshire there i had a smash on the surface and he came back for the next cast just dropped a short cast in, it's still there looking. They're in the retrieve a bit now. Give me a little bit of confidence. There's definitely at least one fish about. Not normally on their own, are they? weed it actually felt like a very subtle take you know like the sort you might experience at night I'm a bit too far behind that one we don't want to be uh, going into it I think that should get us around it I think what I can put on there, something heavy-ish, so I can get the distance, but a bit more weedless. That's in weed again. It's either that or have a go on the top waters. Right, so we've gone for the big patch, 140 in macro. And uh, once I get last 10 15 feet i'm pretty sure i'm going to be full of weed but there's only one way to find out how we get on so let's chuck it and see 
struggling to make that resemble a fish to be honest in this chop oh was that a hit yes the boat they're missing whatever it is it's tiny Idea where uh, the patch is. Can't spot it. Need to get the bass hanging off the end so I know the direction. Oh, I got it. There it is. In the danger zone now. Alright, last cast. I'm going to try something else. Power shad, Berkeley power shad. Now, this is one of them lures for me. I've never caught on it. I had a pack of three over the last couple of years. I've lost two. Never caught on it, but every time I see it in the water, I'm like, that's got to catch a fish. So, again, I'm going to pull it out the bag and chuck it and see. It's quite heavy so I'll go for a high tip. If you watch the tip you can even see the the tail working, you can see how it works. And probably ought to think about moving. I've been fishing this spot for a while. Although I've had one hit on the top and um, an attempt on a metal, so it's making me keen to stay. <clears throat> oh, yes, Fisher! Oh, no, no. That's broke. That's broke. Oh, come on. Where's your broke? Spoke at the needle knots. That never breaks. So I've lost my Berkeley shad. Oh, God, what a day. Come on! Come on! Oh. Time to regroup. Oh. Well, after that, I've looked and looked at my knot, can't see what's wrong with it. The knot was still there. It's been on a while, to be fair. But even so, ah. Oh devastating that's two hits one on and snap me off oh dear me so i've gone for another thumping paddle tail won't quite cast as far and that's not gone as far as where i had the take but never mind this is a swimish um lemon back Also got a good thumper of a tail. No, I don't think I'm getting far enough with that for where I want to get. Damn, what else have I got? With a thumping paddle tail. That I can get that distance. This has got a weighted hook. Of 
cocked that up, gone the wrong side of there. I'm getting splashed. I've got a bit hot, so I took off my uh, surf smock. So now I'm just getting wet. The bass is going to come. And it'll make a, a good film with all these trials and tribulations. I'd like to tell the story and how we try and catch bass. Right, last cast with this. Don't think I'm getting far enough. Got a seven gram hook on it, but. Need another 10 or 15 feet at least for the area where I hooked up before. Tide's dropping now, disappointing. Right, try it again, something different. This time we've got it's a Savage Gear head, and if I remember rightly, I think it's a, a black eel, might be a 120 or 150. Yeah, I'm getting a little bit further with that. It's not weedless though. Let's try that side over there. Let's chuck it and see. Try not to let it sink too much. And feel it getting in the tops of the uh, weed. Genuinely struggling to know what to do to catch a fish. Come on, Mr. Bass. Oh. Thanks, Mr. Wave. Back up the center here again. in the tops of the weed. Ah, oh, come on. Oh, come on, Mr. Bass. Right, a couple more chucks with this. I think I've got a lot of choice now. Water's dropping. I've either got to go weedless, which I'm not getting the distance I want with what I've got or I'm going to have to go on the top that's straight into a bunch of weed oh. Oh, come on now. What are we going to do? What are we going to do? Come on. Cast and think. Yes! 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 Good fish! Good fish! Yes! Oh, come on! Come on! You gotta keep pressure on, keep pressure on! It's coming straight out, you off! I'm not messing about! Yes! Woo! Yeah, baby! Woo! Never wanted to catch a bass as much as I did then! Oh, how about that? Come on, mate, let's get you unhooked. Oh, he's got himself unhooked. Let's put the tape on him. Let's put the tape on him. What's that? 47. 
47. Oh, look at that. What a beautiful fish. What a little stunker. 47 pure silver. Let's get you back, baby. Oh, yes. Go darling, ooh, wrong way, gone. Yeah, woo! All that, all that time. Guys, this is why we do it. All that time chasing down the bass, just for that, I mean, he took what, 10 feet, 15 feet out? Next to no time at all in the fight, but it's made it all worthwhile, absolutely love it. Yes! Chuck it and see. Right, here we go. Full of confidence now. Let's chuck it and see. Oh, full of straight into the wheat. Oh, what a fish. 47. So not massive, but oh, oh. when you want a fish and you get a hit like that, was a... Oh! Fish on! Fish on! They're in! The fish are in! Yeah, baby! Not so big this one. Oh, I don't know! Oh no, got some weed on. Got some weed on. Oh my word! Oh my word! What a session! Two in two casts, always off. You're coming out, you might be the same bloody fish, you idiot. Right, just popped him down there, let's measure him. Let's wash him off. He's gone. Went to wash him off. He's gone. 50, he measured. So it wasn't the same fish. <laughs> oh my word, two in two casts. Let's go. Get back out there. I'm running to the beach. This is mad. Why are you running to the beach? Went to wash him off to get a better look at him and it kicked off and went. It's going back anyway, so not a problem. Ho oh, oh, ho oh, oh. ho. That's two, a 47 and a 50 in two casts. Come on, I'm expecting one. Where's the fish? Where's the fish? Oh, that's a snag. Oh dear. Uh, that's calmed me down. Bit of a snag. Oh, savage gear. Black eel combo. There we go. Come on. Oh no, here we go, big lump of weight. Oh, come on, I ain't got time to waste. Waste luring the water time, pulling weed in. Woo, buzzing. Oh, weed's terrible now. Picking up the weed, terrible this is. I'm going to go back to weedless. 
Right, uh, back to the V2 weedless sand deal, which we started on today. Let's hope it can uh, get through all this bladder okay. Let's chuck it and see. Well, guys, I think I'm going to call it quits now. I think I had that few minutes where they were in amongst these rocks here and then they were gone but worked hard to find them two fish and absolute pleasure it was I've, i just hope the videos come out um but let's just have a look at this ground now so the rocks everywhere poking out and look at the weed as well floating up here that's the sort of ground you're going to find bass they love it Get out there and catch them. It's awesome. When you put the work, work in and they hit that lure, nothing better. Nothing better. Come on, let's just have one more. Even a little skewly. Anything left. Come on. Right, guys, it's gone quiet here now. I'm going to walk and shove a few on my way back very happy with that never fished this uh, place before superb I will definitely be giving this area a go um, especially at this sort of state of tide at dusk and dawn can't wait Too much walking, not enough chucking. Walk and cast. Got the uh, 10 gram weedless um, Savage Gear with um, Vito, I think it's called. And uh, gonna pull that through here in close. Hope there's something munching around. Oh! Something had a go at that then. Oh, and again. Oh! I think it was really small. But hey-ho! About that. There is stuff in and out in, in amongst this weed now. Let's hope there's some bigger stuff. The difficulty getting it to drop down. Well, I'm never gonna get back to my van, am I? If I keep casting all the time. I'm in no rush to be fair. I think that was something really small, but Hi ho, had a little dig didn't it? Let's see if we can see the boulder out there. There seems to be a gap between that boulder and where the weed really starts. So that looks like a good spot. Let's see if we can get that far with the 10 gram. Ooh, a bit short. Not too bad though. Sometimes when you're pulling over a rack like this, it'll it'll go into on, on the top, and then it'll just do a little jump. I think that's quite useful. Quite useful. Oh, loving it. Sun's out now. I mean, bass fishing is just fabulous. It takes you to these places. Oh. weed I thought I had a little knock then and um, big just to these places sometimes it rains all day and you have a terrible time like I was today look at the start I had couldn't catch a fish then bump two 
I think it was two in two casts or maybe two in three casts. Okay, that, that's been it so far, but... Okay, wonderful. Not seen another person since I got here. Occasionally you get a dog walker, but I've seen nobody today. Nobody at all. It is a weekday, to be fair, it's a Friday, but we've got Sandy here. Let's get out of that. Let's bounce this around in the sand. Up the edge. Let's have a look what we've got. I like a sandy bit. If you can find a bit where you've got weed like this and, and heavy beds and rocks, and then sand in the middle. Always worth a chuck, always worth a chuck. Especially kind of in the edges. If there's a big bank, see it's really weedy here, so what I should do, and most of the way out there is fish up this edge. Let's chuck it and see. Rock out there. Oh, it's gone quite shallow again here. I've got to be careful, I haven't got my surf smock on, so if I get wet now, I'll be wet for the day. I've got to sit and dry for two and a half hours. Or so. And I actually felt a bit wet then. Fancy another couple of casts around that rock there. Ooh, that's on top of that rock. So I'll let it drop off now. Keep it in that area for a second. Oh, look at that, another chemtrail. Piss off. Fish on! Fish on! Oh my word! I was looking up at the bloody chemtrail! Fish on! Oh ho oh, ho! Oh, yeah! Swimming towards me! I'm going back! Fish on! Whoa! Come on! Come on! Stay on buddy! That's another reasonable fish that is! Where are we going? Where's he gone? He's here! Whoa! Do it again! They're so strong at the moment, but the water temperature's nice. Well, how about that? Another one. Really wasn't ready for that. Come over here, matey. Number three. Oh, oh yeah. I knew there must be something around by that rock. Knew it. Let's get you on there mate, you have a little relax on there. I'm going to measure you again just for interest, because it's a good stamp today, good stamp today. Right buddy, let's give you a measure as well. Blimey, there's a reasonable stamp today. That's 45. Whew, nice. 47, 50 and 45. There's nobody can't be happy with that.
ready mate off you go boom gone yes I love it I absolutely love it wow oh boom spotted that rock I thought ooh that looks nice boom found one superb superb well come back out don't get much better than that for a new rod day thanks again to Ben at the Art of Fishing getting this out to me quick brilliant oh yes loving it loving it loving it Chris and the rod today 45 47 and a 50 superb gone back to the same spot can't remember what retrieve I was doing or anything get so excited down I I can't even remember exactly where I was now I think it was this boulder here I was fishing round so surprised to catch then I don't know why I think state of tide really wasn't not some a point I would think to fish here um, but I've just done my normal stuff and looked for ground looked for the boulders looked for the weed looked for the patches of sand all the stuff you normally do when you're looking and ignored the state of tide and everything else and and picked up a fish fabulous well I think we've decided he must have been a bit of a loner so I might have a little walk again and I have one more back over that way where that seems to be breaking there oh accurate right I think I'm going to have one more cast and call it be fun summarising this session I think there's that much happened I forgot most of it guys what a great session uh, don't really know where to start apart from came down to a fish an area I've fished before um, but a totally different tide um, so I look for the same things that I normally would look for and um, for the weed bed for where the structure was and just after high tide uh, struck into two nice fish a uh, 47 and 50 I think if I remember correctly I'm sure it'll be on the film bit of a panic I'm not sure <laughs> if how good the, the uh, coverage is I really wasn't uh, don't know expecting it you should should always be expecting it shouldn't you but um, no a brilliant result uh, and then decided to pack up because it went quiet uh, and went for a cast and walk looking um, for seeing what was being uncovered as the, the tide was going out um, spotted a nice little weedy sandy patch with um, a few boulders oh, I thought that's a nice boulder bang another one on so really really pleased really really pleased guys please give us a like and a subscribe and a share if you can uh, we really really appreciate that um, our viewing seems to be going up uh, quite well at the moment we're going to try and keep on on top of that and get some more subscribers hopefully get to the magic 1000 I think uh, that's all what all our hobbyist youtubers we want to get to that 1000 subscribers um, for any newbies out there um, I hope you maybe learned something from that um, I, I, I don't know until I go to edit it how much 
sort of stuff is in there but I do fe feel like I was chattering quite a lot today um, and I'm normally chattering well I do chat shit um, but I do chat about what I'm doing and what I'm thinking and how I'm trying to find the fish so I hope if if it comes out like that I hope it's been useful for you and uh, thanks for your subscriptions those who are already subscribed and thanks for your watch time cheers guys hope you enjoyed it